Wizards, and welcome back to the Pursuit of Happiness with me, Pigtail Girl, your friend and fellow traveller. I hope you are all well. We just had Friday the 13th, and we're having an eclipse today, a ring of fire eclipse. And yes, things have been looking a little bit crazy on the Earth realm. So I just wanted to do a little show today about the inner wizard and how to access your own magical self because I have been shown that humanity accessing their own innate magical abilities in the next six months is really going to be what helps us shift our reality towards a happier future that um, all across the planet humans are starting to desire a very similar thing. This is what I've been picking up. And it's this, this desire to just end all the drama and get rid of all the negative news and have some happy times, something joyous, hear something positive for a change. And this is starting to build up and build up across humanity. It's, um, yeah, it's really across the planet in all types of people or groups of people, no matter where they live. Um, we've all been going through it since, well, yeah, the last <laughs> five years or whatever. It's been, well, really longer than that, if you really think about it. And so what's going on is more and more humans are also learning about the power of their own consciousness. This is something that's increasing right now on this planet, is humans are starting to ask those questions or being shown information that's leading them back towards their own power. And this is where the answer really lies for everyone. It's that inner wizard. Why I say all our wizards is because every single human being with a soul is a creator, having a human experience that we're kind of creating for ourselves every day with every choice we make, every thought we have, every feeling we feel. So how can you access this power you know we talk about it and you might think well yeah i tried that and it didn't work and or it doesn't work for me and oh i don't understand it all sounds so easy right to say it but you're in a wizard you can see it like this your mind is a magician so the mind is the magician the mind over matter also known as consciousness over matter but seeing your consciousness as the mind, the mind self is actually still not the fullness of your consciousness because your soul is the fullness of your consciousness. But through the mind, we access consciousness, we generate consciousness, we store consciousness, we manipulate energies with our consciousness that we control through the mind. But we don't only control through the mind, we also control through our feelings. So we have five senses that we know of, maybe six, maybe seven. I'm not going to argue with how many other senses we have. So just imagine we're calling it the five senses. Um, but yeah, there could be uh, more senses on top of that. But we're talking about the physical senses, the external senses. So you've got sight, hearing, smell, touch, taste. So you've got your five senses, but then you've got the physical senses, but you've also got the internal senses. So you've got your internal vision, your internal voice that you can hear and the thoughts that you have. So you can hear outside, you can hear inside, you know, you can smell external aromas and inside you can also smell the sweetness or experience the sweetness of life, taste the sweetness of life, taste the bitterness of life. So we have internal senses and external senses that we use. And these also a part of our wizard's magician's toolkit that is controlled by the mind. Now, of course, if we can get this mind, this mind, this mind, I'm pointing at my belly button in case you can't see, that's called the enteric mind, all in balance, we can use our magical faculties even better. So if you find that maybe you're good at manifesting this thing, like new jobs, but you're not so good at manifesting, say, a lasting relationship, you know, we can all be good at manifesting certain things and not other things, because it depends where our consciousness is blocked. So to unleash your own true powers, you have to unlock what we call blockages, the blockages block you from accessing your full power. That's why it's called a blockage. Yeah. So every little insecurity you have would be a blockage. 
every false belief you have about yourself would be a blockage. Every wall that you believe to be a thing, everything you believe to be a thing, a concept like, oh, I can only get this through very hard work, as an example, that can be a blockage from you achieving things easily and effortlessly. Whereas if someone thinks that everything just falls on the lap easy and effortlessly, it can be annoying to other people, but having that belief can actually make those things happen and then someone might be working really hard looking at that person thinking, that's not fair. Everything just falls in their lap. They hardly do anything. Here's me working really hard uh, and I want something, but I'm not getting it. How comes it all happens so easy for them? It's all to do with this mente, the mind, the magician. The magician is the mind, self, the consciousness of what we believe into being, what we think into being, Right. But then you've got the subconscious mind, which is 95% of consciousness of the unseen mind that's trying to sabotage you with all your you know, insecurities and, and misaligned concepts. That's why body talk works so well, because what we work on is that 95% unseen consciousness things that they're blocking you. And we, we ask the body, oh, what's blocking this, that and the other in the body mind? And it tells us, oh, you've got this belief, this fear, this phobia. And it's linked to this energy in the kidney and this consciousness that's coming from over there. And altogether, this is making that malfunction. That's a blockage. So then we just erase that blockage, get rid of it. And then we do another formula. And each formula will find a system that's blocked with a bug in the program. And then we take that negative consciousness out, remove it, clearing this energetic so it can start to function again, which then brings health ability to manifest mental health emotional health all those things that's what really working on even just permissions such a simple thing you can do yourself you don't need to be a body talk therapist to sit down and think to myself where you know where am i lacking in my life just be really honest okay i've got this great job i've got this house i've got the money but i've got no partner to share it with and every one of my relationships goes wrong so you could start off by giving yourself permission to experience a healthy loving relationship and just work on just giving yourself that permission and saying it. Because again, then you're using your senses. You're using your voice, which is one of your senses, one of your tools linked to hearing. And um, also you can use a visualization linked to your sight. And that's why they say smell it, feel it, sense it to bring it into reality. So you've got the mind and the five senses. And you. this is why, you know, magicians have tools. Your tool might be the spoken word. Your tool might be music. Your tool might be frequency, dancing, art. Maybe you paint things into being. Maybe you draw or write things into being. We actually all have different elements we work with too. Maybe the fire element, like me, is what wants to work with you. I work very much with the fire element, which is transformative, transmutative, and enlightening and warming. Where some people might be more inclined to work with water so their gifts might be better when they're in the bath or having a shower or by the ocean you know and, and they might want to sit with a cup of water as they talk about their intentions and then drink it you know so it's about just working out you know maybe your element is air maybe things come into being when you sing things and when you make frequencies with your voice maybe that's how you bring uh healing or shifting of change you know maybe it's the earth maybe you need to go and connect into the ground and place connecting to the earth energy and earth and ground all your thoughts and beliefs or write them on pieces of paper and bury them you know in the earth it's a little bit about paganism and shamanism is all about the elements also now we have the five senses so it's funny how we have these five elements right because we have ether don't forget ether is also an element so we have these five senses we have these five elements all of these are our tools magicians tools and the more we can clear ourselves to access the full flow of energy from these systems, the more powerful a wizard we become and the more magical we become. And as I'm getting to my point now about humanity is I feel that this is what's happening collectively with humanity, that you are going to see more and more people. It's like reaching a point now where humans are becoming more aware of their own ability of mind over matter, of consciousness creating reality we've had had now for quite some time in the consciousness field lots of information going out educating people like we had the secret you know what the bleep we have movies about consciousness about energy going out you know we have books we have uh, the power of now you know never before have there been so many humans aware of the 
power of their own thoughts. And of course, now we have YouTube, we have Rumble, we have BitChute, we have all of these outlets. And, you know, um, I'm about to start my own tarot pick a pile channel. It's called Trinity Tarot. You can find it. I'll put a link in the description box. You can subscribe now. And I'm going to start doing pick a pile tarot readings over there. And it's just because I feel like at this time, more and more humans are activating. And I'm going to try to give people like daily guidance, weekly guidance on if there's a block, how to move past that block, a little ritual you could do, something you could be doing to activate or open or heal something or a message that you need right now to help you in your progress. Because in the next six months, humanity is going to be making huge leaps and bounds in accessing their own inner power. That's the good news I'm here to bring to you, my darlings, today. As everything looks a bit blare, remember that humanity is really here to learn how to become powerful creators together. Of course, we're here to experience things that we can't experience outside of this reality of the physical self. That's one thing we're here to experience. But we're also are here to overcome that and then learn to create beyond it and you know who knows one day we might be in charge of a, a realm <laughs> where we get to design things and help other souls develop and go through their learning processes who knows how this infinite universe of realm upon realm upon realm works and what we're really in training for my dears so my best advice is to look at anything where you have insecurities or where you fail a lot in your life and look to those for your blockages and work to remove any blockages, access your power now, really, this is the time. And what I see is humanity is going to start collectively manifesting in a greater quantity. Why do you think so much effort is put into controlling the story and the narrative that goes on in here? So much money and energy is spent on controlling humanity here, right here. What we think, what we see in our third eye is going to happen in the future. That is such an important part of manifestation. Being able to visualize what you want to see in the future to bring it into being. What you don't want to be visualizing is somebody else who's a minion, their story, their distorted story of what they're hoping that they're going to manifest in the future because all media is, is a mass manifestation and distraction tool. And um, the reason they distract is to keep you from your own power, keep you from your own manifestations and stop you writing your own story. Because we are all storytellers. We are all here to weave our own unique part of that story. And what we don't want to be happening to us is to be woven in to someone else's story, especially when that story is coming from someone who's mentally unbalanced, mentally insane, a psychopath, a sociopath. You don't want to be sucked in to someone else's story. So what I see in the next six months is humans really switching off from that story. And what it's doing as they're accessing their own inner power, you're going to see that manifestation is going to start changing because we have been under the control of another group's manifestation now for quite some time. They have been able to manipulate the manifestation here. And when like miraculous changes happen, yeah, sometimes it's timeline edit, sometimes it's divine intervention, and sometimes it's just humanity's collective consciousness coming together, visualizing something they all want that's similar in a vibration at the same time, agreeing on it, consenting to it, and then seeing it starting to uh, download into this reality. And what we're all seeking at this time is happiness and stability. That's what we're seeking. Freedom as well. Lots of people are seeking freedom. The freedom to express themselves without feeling something else is trying to control their own expression, right? And this is all about this magician. Your magician here is free. You need to free it to fully express itself. The minions, they're over there. They're fully free and they're free flag and they're freaky magician. So it can express itself every day. So for you, you can be doing the same thing and this is what's going to be growing. I know it's going to be growing. So if you, this is your first time finding out about this information, welcome. You're a magician, you're a wizard. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet yourself. <laughs> Get to know yourself, your creator. And, um, these next six months are going to be fantastic because this element within humanity is expanding. 
right? And it's not expanding due to something external affecting us. It's expanding because it's coming from our own consciousness. Our consciousness is changing just due to the environment and people having access to new information within that environment, my darlings. So look forward to the next six months. I think we're going to see some very positive changes and never go into states of fear because fear blocks you completely from manifesting and from your own power. If you're having any trouble with anxiety and fear, try to understand it's probably recurring due to something that triggered it. Uh, could have been something you saw on the news, an idea, a concept. Try to think what concept really scared you recently before you started feeling anxious. Focus on that concept and just do this tap and release it blow it out and tap in the belly button when you can't see my hand just focus on saying i'm going to let go of that fear of death that fear of enslavement that fear that someone's trying to control me that fear of that future that fear of me losing that thing and just think about those fears that you might be holding breathe it out even if you can't have a full body talk session with me you could be doing a little tapping on that as you focus on the three minds and just trying to work through the energy yourself and if you do need help, you can always contact me. My details are in the description box. Um, I like to work with people who are specifically drawn to work with me. I do believe that each client is drawn to the healer that is most suited to them. So, uh, yeah, if you feel the intuition and you're drawn to work with me, then do check out my Calendly. Do go subscribe to my new tar tarot channel because once I get my camera sorted out, that will be I will start uploading onto that one. And uh, be well. And I will see you on the next instalment of the pursuit of happiness. One love.